Well, I'm a, I'm a, a motorhead. I was brought home from the hospital. First car I ever rode in was a 68 Camaro muscle car, and he had one. It was, uh, you know, basically fire red. And uh, I just remember my whole childhood uh, just wanting that car or wanting a car like that, you know? And so, and then they actually bought me a, a 74 Challenger when I was a freshman, which may not have been the best idea for a high school kid, but nevertheless, they did. I wrecked that one on, right before my senior year. I picked up the Harley. Uh, just a few years ago um, and it's just you hop on it you can drive just a few miles here and there on it and get some wind in your face and feel like you know you don't just work all the time I was born and raised in a construction family so my father and his grandfather and father before him all built in Island Park um, my dad actually has been um, building custom homes up here since 1979 and he raised me from a little kid to hammer nails and cut boards and find out more efficient ways to build. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Hollywood. Yeah, well I had the opportunity to move to Burbank, California. Ended up moving out there and you know uh, it was good. Um, got hooked up with a couple of days of our lives gigs, got hooked up with some MTV gigs and then got some compromising roles that my, my uh, agent really wanted me to push into that I just didn't feel comfortable doing with my faith. And it wasn't very long after that that I got demoralized from the whole thing because I realized that at that point, yeah, I'm going to have to compromise my values if I want to be successful. It's just the way it is. And I wasn't willing to do that. After I got done with my California thing, I came back and landed in Pocatello and uh, actually became a youth minister there with a Calvary Chapel Evangelical Christian segment. <clears throat> she was uh, also a youth minister, and so that's where we hooked up, and we started serving together, and then we got married at that same place, uh, and then shortly after that, we decided that we would move up to Island Park because we both loved it here. Um, I have uh, my oldest son, who's Micah, he's 14. Um, my next in line is Braden. Um, and then I have a daughter who's 10, her name's Araya. So that was a ordained youth minister with the Calvary Chapel Pocatello um, branch. So my ventures into Israel were mainly uh, uh, my own pilgrimages to some degree. Going in there to kind of just discover really what the people were like, what the customs were like, um, how people felt about a Western civilization, Western America, you know, and things of that sort. Um, and so, yeah, I went and spent a couple months ultimately over there. So, yeah, I think, I think the, one of my biggest passions, of course, is um, just is, is my faith. Is my faith. And then I do believe that everything else follows after that. So I believe that treating my family with the utmost love and my customers with the utmost respect, that those things will all just kind of come together and, uh, and fulfill what I call life.